Welcome to the second video of Eurotech Postdoc 2 Explained. My name is Ingrid Vliegen and I'm the program manager of Eurotech Postdoc 2. During the first video, I told you about the program in general and about what you need to consider before starting your application. Today, I will go into the details of the review process and the evaluation criteria that we are using. Let me now start with discussing the review process. As you know, we, our deadline of the call is on February 25th, 2021. After the deadline, we will do an eligibility check and an admissibility check. For the eligibility check, I refer to the first video in which I discussed eligibility criteria in detail. The admissibility check means that we check whether your submission is complete. For this, we look into the following items. Of course, you need to submit your research plan and a prioritized CV. Also, you need to submit an ethical issues form and if needed, an ethical self-assessment. Also, we need to have a scanned copy of your PhD diploma or an official statement that you indeed received your PhD or an official statement that you have four years of full-time equivalent research experience. Furthermore, we need to have the names of your intended host supervisor and co-host supervisor. Of course, these supervisors need to come from the universities that take part in our program. So for the host supervisors, you can choose from DTU, DIX, TUE, and TUM. And for the co-host supervisors, you can choose from all the universities within our alliance. Finally, you need to submit a motivational letter on carrying out a cross-border collaborative project. All proposals that are found admissible and eligible will be sent to review by three independent reviewers. Independent means that the reviewer should not be affiliated with any of the Eurotech universities. Also, there should be no link between the reviewer and you as a candidate. The reviewers will be scoring the proposal on a scale from 1 to 5, following the evaluation criteria that I will be discussing in a minute. We will be using a threshold of 3.5 out of 5 to be considered for a fellowship later on in the process. After the scores come in, we will make a ranking of the best scoring uh, proposals per university. For these best scoring proposals, we will do a viability check. In this viability check, we look whether the resources, the infrastructure and the supervision time needed to successfully complete the project are indeed available at both the host institution and the co-host institution. Note that this viability check could mean that a highly scoring proposal is still rejected. So we strongly recommend you to reach out to your intended host supervisor and co-host supervisor as soon as possible and to discuss whether indeed all resources needed are available. After doing the viability check, we will make a new ranking per university of viable proposals. We will be offering fellowships to the candidates with the top ranked proposals. For DTU, TUE and TUM, we will have 10 fellowships to offer. For uh, LEAKS, we will have 5 fellowships to offer. We will also be having a waiting list per university in case one or more of the candidates would refuse our offer. So let me now go into the details of the evaluation criteria. We will be having three main criteria being excellence, impact and implementation. Excellence counts for 50% of your final score, impact for 30% and implementation for 20%. Within excellence, we again have three sub-criteria that we are using. I'm not going to read out all the items one by one. You can read it yourself in the document rules and regulations. But let me give the main overview. So the first criteria is looking into the quality and the excellence of your research proposal, of the research you want to do. The second one is looking into the quality of you as a candidate. So that will be mainly judging your CV. 
And the third one will be looking into the quality of the research team as a whole. So also the quality of your intended supervisors, but also how the coherence is within your team and the match between all everyone involved and the proposal you're doing. The second main criteria is impact. Also within impact, we look at several sub items again. The first thing is the impact of you and your proposal on European excellence and competitiveness. Secondly, we are looking at the impact of our program and the fellowship on you and your career. And thirdly, we are looking into dissemination, communication and exploitation of your research results and the appropriateness of the means you're choosing for them. The third evaluation criteria is implementation. We do not mean the implementation of the results from your project, but the implementation of the project itself. So what are the deliverables you plan to have? Your milestones? Is the infrastructure that you plan to use appropriate for what you need it for? But also, did you already consider the risks that might occur during your project and how you can prevent them or what you will do when they happen after all? I hope you found this video useful, but please note that this is just a brief overview of the review process and the evaluation criteria. Please refer to our rules and regulations document for all of the details. We will be shooting a third video on the submission tool that we will be using. So keep tuned and I hope to see your applications coming in in February. Thank you.